All right, so this is the Mulatto Islano, I believe. Yes, the Mulatto Islano. You can see it's a chocolate pepper. It's in the uh, Poblano family. And I'm going to do a taste test on it. I'll take a couple bites, give you an idea what it tastes like and the effect and everything. This isn't fully ripened, but it's ripe enough for me to do the uh, review on this. I really did not get a whole lot of these peppers come off of here. Only a few came off it this year. You can see there's some here. There's one there. And in the back there's one. And, uh, and I have a couple that I picked earlier on my earlier harvest. But uh, not many came out of it. I guess if I grow it outdoors, which I'm going to do next year, some of these plants are going to be... Now that I know their growing behavior, I'm really going to try to make them uh, produce a little bit more. I'm going to grow them outdoors and things like that. So let's give it a taste. Let's see how it goes. Man, that thing is brown all the way through it. Wow. Okay. When I first bit it, the first reaction I got was, I, don't, I can't say it on camera. Okay, it's brown, use your imagination. It kind of almost gave me the impression that's what it was going to taste like. <laughs> Not that I know what that tastes like, but I'm just saying, it's just the look of it and this funny earthy tone that came out of it. It was just a little awkward at first, and then the, f the rest of the flavor came through. And uh, very amazing flavor on this, very amazing. The only way I can describe it is with another fruit, and it tastes to me just like an apple, exactly like a Macintosh apple, with a very slight aftertaste of like the pepper, kind of, no heat on it at all. Uh, you could see it's very thin wall. You could also see that the entire pepper is brown all the way through. This isn't like one of those peppers like... Uh, like a Hungarian, uh, the black Hungarian pepper, uh, it's just like a skin that's black. And then the inside's like green and all. This is brown all the way through. I found that a little strange. When you first bite into it, it has like a weird taste to it. I don't know if you could see that in the inside. It's brown all the way through. This is a very nice pepper, actually. But when you first bite into it, it's got a funny, weird taste to it. Uh, quickly. And then it just subsides. It goes away. You, you taste the sweetness after it. it. This is a very delicious tasting pepper, though. That aftertaste draws you right back into the pepper. Right up near the seeds. The heat came in. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> <coughs> See that? This pepper is a pepper that makes me sneeze. Uh, right up towards the top where the seeds are, it got hot. The whole bottom of it was nice and sweet. Up towards the top, it got hot. Um, not real hot. Very low heat. I'd probably say maybe 200 at best. But it's not a tongue burn at all. It, it's the back of the tongue where you swallow right where that thing hangs down that area over there that whole area is nice and warm it's not hurting it's not hot it's a nice warm slow burn you got a very nice little light heat probably somewhere in the 200 range and um, it's the back of the tongue and the back of the throat it's not anywhere else it's strange it doesn't affect the tongue or anything very very slightly on the tongue very slightly it's so light i don't even notice it but that threw me off i did not expect any any heat on here at all it's it's the kind of a heat that you would get from a poblano if you ever eat poblanos uh you'll notice that some of them aren't hot and then all of a sudden you eat one and woo, there's a little heat on there that's the way poblanos are this is exactly like that it tastes a little different, though, than a poblano. I will do a taste test on my poblanos once I get a, a red one. If it, I mean, those poblanos I got on my poblano plants been on there, I don't know, what, a month and a half now uh, going on? Maybe two months? 
So I, I don't know when they're going to ripen. I may not see them ripen this year. <laughs> so, but this is in the Poblano family and uh, absolutely delicious. It's a very light heat. I would say it's very comfortable for people who aren't big on heat. <clears throat> you like big flavor but low heat? This is one for you. Yeah, that heat was right up at the top. I may even bump that up to like 300. Back, deep back in the mouth, tongue, deep back in the tongue burn type heat. It's hard to judge those kind of heats because they could really be hot in the front of the tongue, but when they don't hit the front of the tongue and it's all going in the back, to me it's like, you know, maybe, I would say 300 tops. So you, you, you can't go over that. At least with this one, it was 300 tops. So, all right, so that was your Mulatto Islano pepper taste review. You can join me here, you can join me there, and I will see you on the next one.